For over 10 years, we have known that women's centres work. And this afternoon will allow us to hear a little from those supporting women in the community in different ways. Decades of evidence, as just been alluded to, demonstrates that prison doesn't work. It doesn't deliver justice, fails to reduce re-offending and increases trauma and harm to some of our most disadvantaged citizens. In our experience, the level of support that women need upon release, especially for those who have served short prison sentences, is very, very intense. Through our centres, we work with some of the most invisible women in our society. And through her advocacy, Bishop Rachel gives them a voice. And we are all listening here today. For those women, diversion away from the criminal justice system, support and healing from their experiences, are not best served through short, disruptive, impact disproportionate prison sentences. I was given an 18 month sentence for a multitude of serious offences. It's taken me until now, the last two years, to realise that I wasn't given the right support I needed to properly deal with my issues. I never looked at my cycle of domestic violence or healing the wounds from having sex work. <clears throat> I couldn't get mental health support until I dealt with my addiction, which all kept me locked in painful patterns of behaviour. What works in supporting women and men, men to turn their lives around is the ability to build relationships, connections and trust. The vast majority of women in prison reach there because they have been failed by the state. I can guarantee that very few, if any women or young people, dream of growing up to be criminals addicted to drugs. I aspire to make movies, write books and go on adventures. I am one of the fortunate ones who found help to reconnect with my dreams as a young girl. I wonder how my life would have been different if I'd have received earlier intervention and offered more effective community services. There's been a real change in police attitudes over the last couple of years, but the community options need to catch up. Short prison sentences don't work. We have more than enough evidence of this by now, and they're a complete waste of money. It clearly makes sense to see a greater proportion of women manage successfully in the community. I hear the points that many of you have made in, your, in a typically courteous but forthright way <laughs> today and in the meetings I have with you and I continue to have. And we will continue to keep funding under review as we take that work forward. The government is motivated to deliver the policies set out in our female offender strategy and remains, as I am personally, committed to focusing on evidence-driven change for the female offender. Thank you.